been so embarrassing. How do you say, is it? I've been saying Melbourne, and I've seen Melbourne, and I've heard Melbourne. Finally, it's like it's coming to an end, this quarantine, but it's just the beginning. Friday, we made it to Friday, April 30th. I'm just, I was just posting some stuff for Dance Connection that they were sending me because they have all call today. It's also International Dance Day. They have competition tomorrow. Um, and then I was transferring footage for my next vlog. Emily's doing schoolwork there and we got another surprise package at the door. I love the like random surprise packages like when we get Tim Tams. One time Emily got some coloring stuff. Um, and this, I'm not really sure what this is. Lamington Balfour. So I guess it's some kind of um, Australian uh, cake, pastry. It looks like it has coconut on it. Um, but I'm excited to taste it. We'll probably try it out. Taste, open up one and taste it together when we have lunch. Charge my camera battery, but we got this pho again, and I guess we just had a bad experience when we had it the first time, and then I don't know why the chicken always looks so wet and like not cooked to me. I'm sure if I took out the chicken and heat this up really good with just the noodles and, this, and the broth, maybe it'll be fine, so I'm gonna save this to the side and maybe I'll do that for dinner if the dinner is not too appealing. There's fruit and tortilla chips, which we do like, and more water. Let's turn this off now. Oh, I hope it goes off soon. We opened the door already and the vent is on. went off went off turned off the police came and everything oh my god I was scared to open the door because there's a sign here that says like if the fire alarm goes off to keep this door closed open the sliding door and turn on the vent because it could trigger the whole hotel to be evacuated and that's exactly why I didn't want to cook as much because I didn't want to be the one but Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. But, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the door open for a while and that on. Okay, this better be worth it. <laughs> and we just finished the meeting. Ooh, did I see mashed potatoes? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna take it out. So, this is the dinner. It says here it's turkey breast, mashed potatoes, carrots, cranberry, pumpkin seeds. I don't know how the turkey breasts will taste. Definitely want to have the mashed potatoes. I might just eat that. I might taste it and have carrots and mash and then salad. And there's also a cheese platter, which I know Emmeline will not eat, but I'll eat a little bit of it. And then they gave us our breakfast. They gave rolls. And Emmeline is excited about this. She's like, oh, I'll eat this. So this is spinach, feta, and egg tortilla wrap. Um, so she's excited about that for breakfast or tomorrow. And these are really good. I want to try to find these when we get to Melbourne. Um, how do you say, is it? I've been saying Melbourne, and I've seen Melbourne, and I've heard Melbourne. So what is the proper way? I think it's Melbourne, right? The way Australians say it. Um, so that's our breakfast. And then they give the salad with balsamic um, and oil vinaigrette. And that is our dinner and um, breakfast for tomorrow. And I told you guys we had our final COVID test today and tomorrow they will be giving us instructions what's going to happen Sunday. And Sunday we get to leave and fly to Mel Melbourne. They heat up Emmeline's dinner from last night, the spaghetti bolognese, um, because she did not finish it. She actually had some of my pizza, because I shouldn't be eating that whole pizza anyway, and um, she did not eat this earlier. I was trying to get her to eat this for lunch, but she wasn't hungry at the time. She was doing, she had a test today, and she was just in school longer, 
than she normally is because she was trying to get it done and submitted and then she had technical issues so that was a bit frustrating and for her more so but I did email her teacher so it's Friday there tomorrow but it's our Friday here so technically she doesn't have to log in tomorrow for school um I'm not showing the food while I'm talking to you. Um, technically, she doesn't have to log in for school. We have to dock her hours um, and breaks every day, Monday through Friday here. Um, but even though tomorrow is technically Friday there, she was actually logging in for school on Sunday U.S. time because it was Monday here. So um, I was telling her, unless you want to be logging in tomorrow on our Saturday and our last day here, just get done what you need to get done and I'll email your teacher and hopefully we get an answer tomorrow if we need to do anything else and she was having technical issues with submitting her exam um but yeah I'm going to even though I'm already sweating from something we're doing I need to work out um and I think tomorrow 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 why am I talking like that tomorrow we're going to do our laundry um and start packing, right, Emmeline? Uh huh. Um, do our laundry and start packing. And yeah, excited to, are you excited to leave? Finally. But what were you saying earlier um, when we were talking about, wow, it doesn't see, it went by fast? What did you say? Yeah. It went by faster than you thought? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. as bad as it wasn't you. As long. It wasn't as long as, um, it wasn't as long as it seemed that it was going to be, or as we anticipated. I feel like I said that a million times to you guys, but, um, I think because, look, everybody's going home from work right now. Um, because we had stuff to do, like we had things to do for here virtually, um, and then she had school and I was doing stuff every day. Um, work-related things and also um, editing these vlogs so that has really helped me pass time by vlogging with you guys for you guys for me too um, for our memories and then also um, editing every day so I made myself have a schedule every morning um, I feel like that helps having a schedule so if anybody ever had to do this in the future hopefully this is not like a regular thing for long period of time but I feel like it's working for Australia and it's very smart and very um very organized and very um safe you know so um if anybody ever has had to do this I feel like as long as you keep yourself on a schedule and you keep communicating with your family um, or anybody outside, like you could be doing this with your family, but as long as you keep communication with people outside, it helps. And I've been able to catch up with, um, people that I don't normally get to catch up on the regular with. I've been trying to catch up with two of my close cousins for the longest time. And because they're in the East Coast, um, time zone, it's really hard to, to talk to them for a long period of time. So it's been really, um, like it feels great to catch up with people in general, but it's nice, especially during in quarantine and not me running around feeling like, oh, okay, I gotta get the phone. I have a 10 minute window to talk to you and catch up with the past three months of your life kind of thing. Um, yeah, and we, we talk to the family multiple times a day. Although we didn't talk to them much today because Brian, um, apparently it's super dusty and windy and his allergies are acting up him and Dylan. So um, he actually went to sleep earlier um, than he normally does. But we just called him now and they were already in bed and just said goodnight. And that was it. Didn't talk to them much today. But I'm excited that tomorrow is Saturday and... It's been an interesting journey and it's crazy. It's it's like it's coming to an end, this quarantine, but it's just the beginning kind of thing, you know, of what's to come. And uh, obviously we can't share anything about that, um, but we can share as much as we're able to during our time in Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne. Oh. 
so we'll share as much as we can and obviously on days off if we go anywhere we will be sharing that with you um, we want to document as much as we can also for us to look, look back on and for also like our kids and Brian to see just to see what we're doing how we're doing um, you know when we're not catching up with them on FaceTime so anyway I'm gonna work out now Emily your food's ready if you want to go out and go shopping my mom's filming me I really want to go shopping okay so I just finished workout day 12 Emily's in the shower I'm about to go in after her and tomorrow we're gonna start doing I'm gonna do laundry Emily's gonna start packing some stuff tonight um, not that we unpack too much, but, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing, and we're just so excited. We had a meeting and found out something exciting for Sunday, and I will share that with you guys on Sunday, um, but, yeah. All right, I'm going to go for now. I don't know that I'll vlog again later. I think Emily and I are going to watch try to watch a new um, series or start a new series tonight. All right, bye.